everyone and welcome to my new holiday special doll repaint video. You know, every year the Mattel company launches special holidays Barbie dolls. They are normally very pretty in pretty dresses and this year they also have launched a collection of three Barbie dolls in gorgeous red dresses, really not normal. If you haven't seen them yet, I'll put a picture of all three of them here. And of course, I just had to buy one of them. Unfortunately, the one with dark hair they didn't have in stock anymore because this one I like most of all. And I had to choose the one with a typical blonde Barbie doll and the one with a darker, deeper skin tone. I know, the blonde one, honestly, I didn't like that much. It's again another generic Barbie doll face, another two blonde hair, another two red lipstick. Yeah, look at my lipstick. Nothing's going on, it's okay. The Barbie one, I don't like the one from Barbie. Mine is pretty. So, I've decided to take this one, the Barbie doll with deeper, darker skin tone, with curly hair, because I think that her face mold looks really gorgeous, better than the blonde one. And also because I think I can really make this doll even prettier. So I'm going to open this box. We're going to unbox it now together in a minute. Check how what is all there inside. And then we're going to take acetone, scissors, and we're going to destroy her face and her hair. Please, don't understand me wrong. I love how original her hair look, but I still think that for this Christmas special going out look I would like to have some more glamorous long dark hair now, anyway we'll see where we're gonna end up maybe, maybe I'll end up with pink hair in the end but anyway you know it's kind of a little bit insane if I could get this kind of a doll as a little girl like 20 25 years ago I would really sleep with this doll. I would uh, really walk with her everywhere and look at her endlessly. And what am I going to do now? Yes, I'm going to take acetone and I'm going to destroy this absolutely gorgeous special holiday edition Barbie doll. Sounds exciting, so let's start. So this is how it looks on the box and here on the back you can see all the dolls from the collection. Let's open it and take a closer look. And here I have also a certificate of authenticity. I really like her nail polish, the color looks really stylish to me. Yeah, it's such a pretty red dress, it has three layers and there is also a Barbie label on it. Yeah, I think it's really pretty and the color I like a lot. But my biggest question is what to do with her hair. First I was going to reroute it completely, but I really like her hair color now, with lighter and darker shades, looks quite natural. But let's check it, maybe I can make her hair straight. And it seems it works with my tiny hair iron. So I think I will keep her original hair on and I will try to style it in a completely different way later. Now let's remove her accessories and the dress. And you can see it, they've used a simple double side tape to keep her necklace in place. I didn't really know it was allowed. And here I find some more tape under the bracelet. These dolls are rather static than poseable, you can see their legs are moving just back and forward. It's made rather to decorate someone's bookshelf than to play with it, it's more a collectioner edition of course. And now I can finally get my big bottle with acetone and remove her face. 
And let's hope I will be able to draw a new pretty one, otherwise it will be pity. I'm going to take her head off, because it will be much easier to blush her body like this. And to make the rubber head soft and easy to remove, I warm it up like always with the hair dryer. I've protected her hair with plastic and then I spray her face with three layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant. While the sealant is drying, I can prepare the pencils and pastels. I've picked up a bunch of pencils in very natural colors and then I'm making them very sharp using a breaking knife. And then I'm getting some powder out of soft pastels using sanding paper. First of all, I'm going to sketch her eyes and eyebrows. And then I also make dark the nostrils, the corners of her lips, and I also draw the shadow under the lips. And then I spray my work with the sealant again. Now I'm going to contour her face very softly to make it look more alive. I spray the face again with Mr. Super Clear and then I take my watercolor pencils that I've prepared earlier and I start working on her eyes. And I can tell you working on this face is even more challenging than working on Monster High dolls, because this face is almost two times smaller. For her lips I will use a dark red pencil that will match the dress color. The next step is drawing the tiny details in her eyes. The shadows on the white of her eyes, the red waterline, the highlights in her irises. And I'll set highlighted accents to her lips, to the top of her nose, and to the highest points of the brow bones.
Then I slightly highlight the cheekbones and the foreheads using soft pastels. And to add some extra Christmas glow to her face, I will use golden soft pastels. With an extremely sharp black pencil, I draw the lashes. And then add reflections to her eyes using white acrylic paint. Now I still need to work on her body. First I remove the glossy top from it with nail buffers. Then I clean it with an acetone-free nail polish remover. After this I spray the body with three layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant. And then I blush the body with the same pastels like I used for her face. And I also want to recreate her beautiful red nail polish again. Now let's put the head and the body back together and apply glossy acrylic varnish to her eyes and lips. And now it's hair time! First I need to brush it really good, of course. Then I'm applying this sleek serum, it will help me to make her hair straight. And then I start using the hair straightener on the low temperatures. To give her hair some extra shine, I will also use a drop of hair oil. And now you kinda can see the both hairstyles next to each other. And then I style her hair in a very elegant way. So now let's put her dress back on. And I think I want to keep the shoulder line open. Why not? You can wear this dress in different ways. With the short sleeves or without, you can choose it yourself. Instead of her plastic jewelry, I'm going to use real shining crystals. And before we go and see the end result, I want to choose the winner of my doll giveaway. Let's open the randomizer, upload the link, and now I just need to push the button, and let's go! Good luck everyone!
and the winner is Bashful Banshee. Congratulations! I will contact you through your Twitter account very soon. And now it's finally time to see the before and after pictures. Of course, it's much more difficult and challenging to make a gorgeous doll even prettier. It's much easier to improve looks of some ugly and broken old dolls. But I still think I could give her some extra life and have made her even more gorgeous. What do you think? Me personally, I really like her new extra elegant look. And which one do you prefer? Write it in the comment. And also, what do you think about the Mattel Holiday Collection this year? Do you like this edition? And also, which one of the three dolls is your favorite? Or maybe you have already one of them? Or even all of them, maybe? Let's discuss it in the comments. And that was it for today. Next week it's gonna be a big Christmas special makeover, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss it. Also, I post new doll repaints every week Friday, already for two years, so please join our doll family. And of course, please support my art with your likes. And I will keep working to meet you here again next week Friday with a new doll makeover. Have a nice weekend everyone, bye!